Hello, dear sisters and brothers in Christ. The day turned on to the 18th of May. It is 2.45 a.m. We are two days away from the Pentecost, and I believe with all my heart that the Lord's visitation is during this time. The transfiguration, the illumination, the Holy Spirit visitation, the promise that he made for me years ago that I will overtake you and overwhelm you now must come to pass, I believe with all my heart. So this is the closing of this season, and I am going to depart from you with three scriptures, because what would be the best way to close this than to give you the word of God that came from him to us, to me, in prayer during the past few days. I tell you that the scripture is full of promises, promises that are now hanging on a hinge to be fulfilled. So these are just little examples to that, but it's very uplifting. 1 Corinthians 15.50 I declare to you, brothers and sisters, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all asleep, but we will be changed. In a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will rise imperishable, and we will be changed. Oh, hallelujah. For the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortal. When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come true. That has been swallowed up in victory. Praise the Lord. That means our redemption. That means our stepping into the eternal dimension through the door. Jesus Christ is the door. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Hmm. Luke 10, 22, 23. All things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father. And no one knows who the Father is except the Son. And those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then he turned to his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see but did not see it, and to hear what you hear but did not hear it. And that is to see Jesus Christ face to face. And when we see him, we become like him. Scripture says, Glory be to God. And lastly, he just gave me this this evening because he's a good God. Glory to God. Oh, I love you so much. Here we go. Luke 1, through 79. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has come and has redeemed his people. He has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he said to his holy prophets of long ago, salvation from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to show mercy to our Father and to remember his holy covenant, the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to rescue us from the hand of our enemies and to enable us to serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, my child, will be called a prophet of the Most High, you will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him, to give his people the knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins. Because of the tender mercies of our God, by which the rising sun will come to us from heaven. <laughs> Hallelujah! To shine on those living in darkness, that's the illumination and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the path of peace. I cannot think of more appropriate scripture than this one. And let me finish with saying that yesterday afternoon the rain fell. It was raining for two, three days. 
But on the afternoon, I stepped out from the house and I saw the sunshine and it was raining, slowly, warmly, lovingly, raining, raining on us. And I said, there must be a rainbow. And yes, there was a rainbow, a beautiful rainbow over the road <laughs> that we walked on with my doggy. And I made a picture, praise the Lord, because he's renewing the covenant. And these events that are coming to us, to the rain, they are not by accident. It was confirmation from the Lord, I'm coming. And then today morning, I said to my doggy, I need to take you for a walk, which I usually don't do during the weekdays because we are too busy. And she agreed and she was happy. And she showed me which way she wants to go. We went down to the river as she wanted to, but then started to rain more heavily. And she turned back and I said, let's go home. It started raining, but it was warm. The rain was warm and it was feeling so good. And I had a t-shirt on without sleeves. And I enjoyed the rain so much. And I knew it's a gift of God the former rain and the latter rain. And I could go on forever. Now we're going to all praise God. Glory is coming. Blessings are coming. It will overtake us. The praise reports will never stop anymore. So truly, I just have to say, God bless you. Prepare your hearts for this visitation. I believe with all my heart, it will be now this weekend by the Pentecost. Hear me now. This is the time. This is the time. He is coming to illuminate us. He is coming to visit us. This is the sudden appearance. Like I said in my previous video, I could never figure out how he is coming, although much I understand. But one thing is for sure. He is coming. Make yourself available. Be at peace. Glorify God. Just give time to him. Just sit in the presence, read your Bible, be at peace, love on Him, wait upon Him. Do not make any programs, busy programs. And know that He will meet you where you are. If you need to work, that's okay. He knows where to find you. He knows when to find you. All He is asking is when you have the opportunity, then make yourself available. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory, glory, glory. Love you all. God bless you. Amen.